to watch the men's singles finals of the 2015 China Open. Ma Long and Xu Xin, numbers one and two in the world. About to face off, should be an exciting match. Ma Long quite creative, but even more creative, the Cloud Walker, and you can see by the quick handshakes, even though these two players are good friends, they're both very focused right now on this match. Friends off the table, friends for life. When they're at the table, they are strong competitors. Politics aside, this is up for the taking. Whoever plays better here is going to win. They've faced off 20 times in the past on the ITTF World Tour. Ma Long has won 14 of them. Xu Xin only won six. Although two of their last five encounters, Xu Xin has won, and one out of their last three, Xu Xin has won as well. So in recent years, in recent matches, the chances might be better than their history suggests, their long history. Ma Long, world rank number one, the first seed in this tournament, and the top ranked in the race to Lisbon has the most points for the World Tour Grand Finals. Ma Long at 26 years old, 25 years old is Xu Xin, the world rank number two, second seed in this tournament, and the third in the race to Lisbon. Xu Xin won the Japan Open, where he did his Ask a Pro Anything interview. Again, if you haven't had a chance yet to submit your questions for Ding Ning, she's the Ask a Pro Anything selection for this tournament. So you can submit them on your Facebook, the ITTF official page, the Weibo. Here's a look at how they got here. Ma Long over Yuya Oshima just barely coming back from down 2-6 and 4-7. Outstanding comeback from Ma Long to make it to the finals. Before that, it was Fang Bo, 4-0 win. Again, Antoine Hachard, only other player outside of Yuya Oshima to give some real trouble to Ma Long in this tournament. Keep your eyes on Antoine Hachard. Xu Xin taking down Fan Zhendong in the round before. An exciting seven game match. Team not often challenged by players. The China Open, again, the lineup runs deep. Many Chinese players playing. It was Marcos Freitas before Fan Zhendong that Xu Xin had to play for a 4-1 victory. Before that, Xu Xin comfortably took over Tong Peng of Hong Kong. Short pips on the backhand side. Tong Peng has been one of the most unsung heroes in table tennis. Been inside the top 15 in the world for some time. With a whole lot of punching and aggressive play near and far from the table. Doesn't have quite the following of some of the other players. Not quite as notable. He's married to Tia Yana. Quite a fan base. Two of the top Hong Kong players for the last several years. Shushin before that played Asuka Machi. There's Xie Ying, head umpire from China. Having some fun quizzing from the crowd. Very enthusiastic crowd here. Again, the arena looks oversold. A few seats here and there in VIP. Right now, it's tough to find a seat only in the nosebleed section up near the GAC group logo in the very back of the stadium. We've got standing room, people hanging over the barriers all around. Looks like a scene from Fight Club a little bit. I think that's a good thing. So Xu Xin has been called the cloud walker by coach Lu Goliang, the way he moves his feet. Very light on his feet, quick to get around the court. And again, the most creative player on the Chinese national team currently, Xu Xin. From a shot selection standpoint though, I think over the table he's strongest, aggressive play. Fun to watch when he gets far from the table, but against Ma Long, it's gonna be tough to win many points, backing off too much. Both of these players are gonna test each other with footwork, speed, and strength. 
And of course, on top of all that, one of the beauties of table tennis, tactics. A real thinker's game out here. Clever play from both. I feel like that's one of the most fun parts of table tennis, and I'm sure fans around the world will, will agree. Not just the exercise, but mentally being clever what you're going to do to outplay your opponent, really find their weaknesses, use your strategy to the fullest. This is a best of seven finals. Malong with the serve to start. Smart play, Shushin looks like he's going down cross court. Plays it to the short side of the table to win the point. A very unpredictable forehand, that pen hold grip of Shushin's. Let service. Shushin not only the top pen holder in the world, the only pen holder in the top 10. Ma Lung jammed up, takes a shot from the hip a little bit slow. First two points to Shushin. the opportunity up near the net. Forehand flip kill has been very effective. Again, a little bit streaky for Shushin, but won the match in the doubles earlier. 11-9 in the fifth with that shot. Deep on the table. Malone keeping it right at the baseline with some top spin. First two points split. Ironically, the servers have lost the points. All points have been against serve so far. And after a nice snake shot from under the table, ball hooking up into the body of Ma Long. The follow-up shot, very ambitious. Look at this, touches it from under the table. So much side spin. And even with all that racket speed, has to touch the ball first. Shushin trying to take a little bit off it, spin it deep on the table. Right now, he's just misconnecting on a few. I think most important right now is his mentality, that he doesn't start to get hesitant or blame himself, get down on himself for missing a few shots. And that forehand flip kill again. Coach Wu Jingping there on the far right, the legend of table tennis. Brought Ma Lin and Wang Hao through the ranks, among others. Coaching Fan Zhendong currently. A little bit odd, that shot was spinny relatively fast, but for Ma Long's pace, not usually enough to finish the point or even deter the counter loop. Short side of the table, but Ma Long able to anticipate this time and block it back wide to the forehand. Chu Xin all in on this shot, no chance to come back for it. Completely out of frame. Talking about the top pen holders in the game, the only other pen holder in the top 20, Wang Chun Ting from Hong Kong. He's actually a funny story. Started getting very serious about the sport at age 18, which is quite late for a professional. And there it is, the big one right to the middle of the table, the little side spin on it. Shushin stepping up, getting ready to turn around and take the forehand attack. Again, Shushin's gonna have to learn on this. He can hit the big shot, but he can't turn his back. He can't think the point's over. Seems like he might still have a chance to reach that. It's the middle of the table, it's breaking back to the backhand corner. Of course, with the amount of energy he puts into the first shot, it's difficult to recover from. But we've seen him get back for shots like that. You have to wonder if that's overconfidence. If it has something to do with it being the first game of the match. Malone plays every game like it's his last. Shushin over the table with the backhand, making it a two-point game. 
And even though the record, 14 out of 20, got 70% of the matches going to Ma Long, 70-30. Still feels like Xu Xin at any given time could be a serious threat to Ma Long. Just off the table, 6-9 now, Xu Xin down three. Exchange. Ma Long stays pinned in the backhand corner. Steady, not taking too big a shots or committing. Xu Xin's committed that a few times. And now it's four game points for Ma Long. Surprised we didn't have the game point graphic. Pushed into the net. Unusual push. Looked a lot like Dima's backhand push from over the table where he turns the head of the racket straight down in line with the handle. Forehand flip kills good this time. Two game points saved. Shushin now has two serves. Again, the first two serves he had this game, he lost both points. Shushin, a very clever player. Tough to know what's going on in his head mentally. Tough to really predict how he's gonna play in every sense. Not just where he's gonna hit the ball, but mentally. He's a very peculiar guy. He'd be a very strong poker player. Know he loves snookers, billiards, pool. Wide backhand, heavy push, but no problem. Tucks back, just reads it perfectly. And whips through the ball. That's three in a row for Xu Xin. One more to go before Deuce in the first. Seems like Ma Long's winning the popularity contest with the fans. Forehand flip kills so much power. Can barely even see it on screen. Let's see the replay of this. Low ball deep on the table. The bounce right at the white of the line. Almost looked like it hit Ma Long in the air. It was so fast. That's four straight points for Xu Xin to tie it up. the top of the net, Xu Xin commits a little bit early on the step around and his feet were a little out of position. Early in the point though, made a big shot, came back, still recovered, stayed in the point. Had learned from his mistakes a little bit in the past. Expecting the ball back this time. Another game point, the fifth one for Ma Long in game one. Push goes long, the touch game over the net. And it's tied up at 11 each again. Shushin, the younger player, but only by one year at 25 years old. Serve comes long, Shushin loops it low to the net and deep in the backhand corner. Seemed like Ma Long was determined to get that forehand into play, but it was not a very easy opportunity for him. And now, it's game point for Xu Xin. Outstanding point. The flip kill looked like it was over for sure. And Xu Xin comes back, look at this. Malone blocks it back on the table. Shushin running, facing away from the table, able to loop it. A little bit disorienting to be running two completely opposite directions in a point. Not just side to side, but back to get back behind the table. Heartbeats, fans in the crowd, nervous watching. Thrilling point, definitely should make the highlights real. So close, but still deuce. The third deuce point this game. Step around and Xu Xin is waiting there hoping that that ball is not coming back. Had to commit. This time it didn't. Would have been the third time the ball was left on the table behind him that he couldn't get back for it. 
that he didn't try to get back for it for that matter. Another game point for Xu Xin. Only his second game point. Miss hits on the backhand spin shot. The smile there from Xu Xin. A funny man indeed, quite charming. In some of the most intense moments in the match, in the last several years we've seen him smiling. Maybe even with disbelief. Side swiping, leaving it right near the back edge of the table. Soft touch, little apology there. Not sure what it was for. Tough to apologize for leaving your opponent in an uncomfortable position for a quality shot. Again, these two are good friends, but on the table, they're here to win. Spinny shot, Shushin comes back to take it 15-13 after saving five game points, was down 6-10, and a 15-13 victory to set the tone. What a first game. Game two, keep watching, we'll be right here just after this. We're back for game two. Shushin with an incredible comeback and some brilliant points, leading one game to zero. Step around shot just kills it into the body of Ma Long off the back of the table. Remorseless shot from Shushin. Inside out forehand, real trouble for Ma Long when Xu Xin's on near the table going for the attacks. It's very unpredictable. And it might seem funny to reference Thomas Kynath right now. I was just thinking about how unpredictable these attacks are. You never really know where he's going. Thomas Kynath had a similar effect just at a lower world ranking. Half long serve barely coming off the back of the table. Xu Xin waiting patiently but left with not a lot of options. This time, Ma Long able to put some pressure on with the shot before. Xu Xin not really having his picking. Get. Shot clipping the top of the net on the serve. Opening backhand, finding the net. In the late part of game one, Xu Xin wasn't missing much of anything, including that shot. Start was quite different. Again, Ma Long had the lead 10 points to six. Walker in action, just missing the back of the table. Shushin completely fooled by that shot. Still able to run it down and bring it back deep on the table. See this again, right at the baseline. You can see Ma Long twiddling the racket, turning the red rubber outwards. Typically the tacky, usually a hurricane on the forehand side, usually Tenergy on the backhand side, typical for the Chinese players. Big forehand shot from Ma Long whizzing past Xu Xin. And a few apologies there from Ma Long. 
And off the table, these guys have created some of the best exhibitions we've seen. You can find videos on YouTube and all over, different blogs. Not sure what happened there. Very odd shot selection from Shushin. He's decided to snake it up in the middle of the rally. Outstanding point. Shushin cradling the ball from the ground after that net. Look at this recovery. Gets all the way around the table. Probably would have been two bounces on the table if Malong wasn't waiting. The rally continues. Touch shot blocks. Side spin left on that ball like nobody's business. Shushin chopping it back from the forehand side. Malong still leading seven points to three. Though he had a four point lead at game point last game and it didn't stop Shushin from coming back. Powerful forehand flip kill from over the table. Ma Long extend, extending his lead to 8 3. Still want to know what the story was with that snake shot a few points ago. And this time, Shushin shows where he's going, telegraphs a little bit early. Ma Long starts to break to the backhand side. Adds just a little bit more pressure for Shushin to make the shot high quality if he knows his opponent's waiting where he's hitting it. Has to try to finish the point. Off the back edge of the table, and it's seven game points for Ma Long. Now, we'd all think that would be enough to finish the game, seven game points. Is this too much of a task for Shushin to come back in game two? So far, kicking serve saves one game point. Inside out spin, and the ball goes wide on Malong's receive. Soft touch shot. Quiet way to go out of the game after a comeback like he had in game one. But Shushin exits, only getting four points to Malong's 11 in game two. Either way, we're tied up at one game each, and it's dead even in that sense. We'll be back for game three just after this. for game three. Ma Long laying down some authority in game two. 11-4 to put it away. And this time it's Xu Xin blocking back the flip kill. Both players have the over the table flip kill shot with the forehand that's quite effective but they're anticipating each other well. Again they're playing a whole lot. 20 times on the world tour. Most players head to head records not even close to that. Goes the lobbing point. Little close to the net. Runs it down. Oh, just missing the back edge. How does Shushin stop himself from going through the barriers on that ball? This high lob here, sky lob off the screen. This is the one that comes a little too close to the net. So Ma Long is able to put it away with side spin. Shushin stopping on a dime to avoid falling over and through the barriers. Stopping that quickly can really be hard on the body. I have a lot of trouble stopping that quickly. I run through barriers all the time. It's sort of like pulling the emergency brake on your car when you're going really fast. Damages the brakes, puts more wear and tear on them. 
Funky shot from Shushin in near the body. Love to see a slow-mo replay of that. Jammed up. Some side under spin on that. And again, 2-2, two -two, just like in game one. Well placed, fast serve down the line. The down the line serve a little bit rare for a right-handed player serving to a lefty. Sometimes kicking fast out wide, you'll see. Shushin completely surprised with that ball bouncing deep on the table. Looked like it was out, possibly off. Green shirts in the crowd. Still wondering what that's all about. The green M&Ms in the bag here. Crowd full of color. And the commitment over the table. Ma Long racing ahead now. Up 5-2. When Shushin tends to look puzzled, it's not usually a good sign. Although he looked puzzled in game one and managed to come back, so the study continues. Big commitment this time. Shushin rushes back to get into play just in case. Anything you can do to avoid a quality forehand, to avoid the forehand period from Shushin, it's going to be a little bit better. That's an idea, but the follow-up backhand of Ma Long clips the net and goes out. One-point game, two in a row for Shushin. Long push, break off the top of the net, and it's tied up at five points each. For these two to be even head-to-head, -head, it would have to take eight wins in a row from Shushin. That's how much Ma Long is the favorite head-to-head, -head, but recently, Shushin's been challenging. Is the opportunity for that. Hits it like he's going cross-court with the height on that, but trying for the middle of the table, overshoots it. Back end comes back for the edge of the table. Looked like the top edge from all long to get the point. See it again. He was definitely outside the table. Yep, that ball catches the top edge. 7-5. There are a lot of conversations about this. Might not be clearly defined what the top edge of the table consists of. As an edge is more of a theoretical thing. If you zoom in very close, the edge becomes a rounded surface. My take on this is if it reacts the way it would have if it hit a wall, it's the side of the table. Anything different must have caught some percentage of the top edge of the table. Got another break for Ma Long. Tough to tell if that one caught the edge. Either way, it's a good shot. 8-5. See it again here. Flip and nope, that ball's all top of the table, just deep on the table, as deep as they come in the corner. Fools Ma Long, hits it out to the forehand side. Ma Long still runs it down and almost makes a threatening shot. Shushin has been down by more than this before in game one again. Was it 6-10, managed to come back and pull it out 15-13. Either way, he's still down at 6-8 with the serves. Bit of trouble. Ma Long keeping it soft and low over the net. Forehand flip kill disintegrates. Strong counter attack right off the bounce. Reaction time from Shushin anticipates this ball right where it's going, you'll see. Big backhand, the counter attack with the forehand. 
Not a lot of time for a backswing on that. Again, core strength, leg strength, lower back. The upper body needs to be limber, but those are the main muscle groups that are being worked out here. The legs, the core, the abs, and the lower back. Opportunity for Xu Xin up near the net. That's disappointment, a sigh of disappointment. And three game points for Ma Long at 10-7. Slightly worse position than he started in game one at 10-6. But still a good position to be in. Anytime you've got game point. Right down the line, hooking into the body. Xu Xin must have thought that was off, didn't even try for it. Beautiful placement, Ma Long takes it 11-7. We'll see this again right here. One shot, second shot, right on the white of the line. Shushin realizes late, just sticks his arm out. Maybe he was thinking to turn the corner, but either way, Malong takes the lead two games to one after an 11-7 victory. We'll see what happens in game four after this short break. Come back for game four. Ma Long is leading two games to one after losing the first, winning the next two. Xu Xin now with the serve. Chop block and then a very ambitious fall away shot inside out forehand. There's a fine line as far as creativity goes between taking a shot that's just a little bit too low percentage. And then there's a backhand deep on the table for the point. First two points split. Shushin getting some crowd support here. Shushin Jayo, the fans cheer. Add oil, Shushin, literally. Go for it. Another backhand, fast serve right into the backhand. Shushin's ready for it without hesitation, just snaps it back cross court. This is a fast serve. Deep right at the baseline of the table. Just a little bit high, maybe. Either way, very impressive shot from Shushin. Goes for a third backhand, falling away to the forehand side. Extending the real estate that the backhand lives in. Serve of his own right into the backhand side of the body. It's a 3-2 lead for Xu Xin early in game four. Soft shot and out on the wing. He spins it back deep on the table to take the point. Very soft touch shot right there. Ma Long making it not a bad shot from over the table, but Xu Xin able to get it at full reach. Beautiful shot, very widest part of the corner of the table. Xu Xin fan there with Thundersticks, leading the cheering. And the Malone retort coming right back. The Malone contingency, the Malone clan in the crowd. Off balance shot from Xu Xin. Way out wide to the forehand side. Hooking earns an off balance shot from Malone. A little bit of side spin can add to the unpredictability, make it difficult for a player to really set up for the counterattack. Smiling for Tomo in the background. Tomo, maybe a Japanese player. Big 
Great shot from Sushin again from off the table. Extends his lead to 6-3. While Sushin likes to play the off-pace shots, shot blocks, side swiping under the table stuff, lobbing, fishing, he's going to be much more effective if he plays the attack game. Speaking of chop blocks, Ma Long going for one right there. Ball goes wide on his chop block. So Ma Long down four points right now. Still a long ways to go in the game. Just too good. Again, the reaction time of Ma Long in that point, crazy. Big forehand from Xu Xin, and then he gets back on defense. And look at this shot here. Inside out, a bit of extra side spin. No chance of that one. I think Xu Xin has to be convinced that the ball's going that way to make his move to reach that. Otherwise, he's just a little bit too planted, understandably so. Looks like it's loaded with spin. Ma Long overcompensates, covering the ball into the net. So with the second towel break of the game, Xu Xin leading by four still over Ma Long. Smiling for Tomo in the background, actually an abbreviation for Smiling for Tomorrow, presumably a sponsor's slogan. Players agree that it was a let. Tough to see exactly what happened there. It looked like it was received into the net. Ansi fan in the crowd watching. Machine drying off the ball, make sure no moisture gets on it, keeps the control. Fast, long serve right into the body. Shushin spent a lot of time looking up at the lights after that. Watch this again, high toss, fast serve with some side spin on it. That was the very edge of his racket, missed contact, didn't see it well. Maybe the element of surprise to serve that fast. Usually expect the ball to come back long, but usually not. Such good quality, I guess. Not sure what's happening to Shushin. Not sure if he's lightheaded or what, but he just seems a little bit disoriented. Ever since the point before, when the ball came back off his fast, long serve. Side swipe, a little defensive shot. Shushin cannot afford to play two lax right now. Let this lead go. A touch shot from over the table is one thing, but the side swiping chop shots from off the table, just gonna be a losing battle in general against Ma Long. Forehand flip kill comes back to the open table. That one he had no chance for. Look at this again, power shot. Ma Long waiting patiently before he breaks out to the forehand side to block it back. Nine four lead for Xu Xin. Now nine eight, four in a row for Ma Long. <laughs> Miss hit when he comes back trying to side swipe it from under the table. He recovers on the big shot. Let's see this again. Soft shot there, counters from wide on the forehand, comes running through, tries to scoop it up. We'd love to see rallies start this way. We'd love to see that continue for at least a few more shots. But that's five straight points for Ma Long to tie it up at nine points each.
comes right back. Ma Wong bringing it back with pace. Six straight points from down 9-4. Again, a, not a comfortable lead, an encouraging one for Xu Xin. But Ma Long now has earned a game point. This time the side swiping shot is left short and over the net. Ties it up deuce in game four. You never know with Xu Xin, you never know what you're gonna get. Xu Xin is like a box of chocolates as they say. So now he's got the serve at deuce in game four. Very awkward ball for Xu Xin right into the body. Seems jammed up. Malong earns the point and another game point. Takes the timeout. Feels that this is a pivotal moment. Wants to finish the game now. He's going over to his corner to talk to himself. Xu Xin a little bit slower to get to his corner. If Malong can use his racket. His own logo, tough to see. Have to imagine that's the Malong racket in his face on the back. He can take this game for a 3-1 lead. He's gonna have some confidence coming into game five. It's gonna be a moment of truth here coming back. Sometimes it's a question of who wants it more. There are a lot of elements of what that really means. Focus, strategy, consistency, how hard they practiced in the past. Talking to Timo Boll, he once said, you practice 110%, meaning when you practice, you practice 100%. You practice what you play in the games. A lot of players tense up when it comes to tournament time, when it really matters. But if you're experienced and practiced, it's tough to get 3,000 screaming fans to your practice hall. But to make it mean something to you in practice, then you're prepared when you come out here. Another game point for Malone. Patient shot, Spinny from down low. Malong escaping. 12-10. That's what the scoreboard says. Both players very slow to leave the court. Tough to tell by the body language, but it's a 3-1 lead for Ma Long. Just long. Stick around, we'll see if Xu Xin can come back down 1-3. Game five just after this. Players are back for game five. Malone coming back from down 4-9 in the last game to win it. Starting off game five strong with the first point. It's gonna be a tough task for Xuxin to come back and win this match. But game four was the real test. As far as who wants it more, from style of play, you would say Ma Long wants it more. Rarely do we see Ma Long going for shots where you really question why he took that shot. Inside out forehand from Xu Xin, first point this game. The big bending shot, the signature from Xu Xin.
Shushin got the ball hit behind him, was setting up for a forehand shot. Ma Long, not even an especially fast shot, but just enough pace. Placement right behind him for the point. Top of the net, but it stays on Ma Long's side. Shushin just one point away from tying it up in the early parts of game five. Pushed into the body. Malone seemed a little bit confused with the spin left on the ball. From a will and desire to win standpoint, Malone wins. From a mental focus standpoint, it's so tough to know what Shushin is thinking. For all we know, he could be thinking about lunch. His favorite TV show. Beautiful forehand, low and wide, and he takes the lead. This one didn't seem to have much side spin on it, if any. But just at the very corner of the table and so fast. Some say Shushin has the biggest forehand in the world. I think he's definitely a contender if he doesn't have it right now. Well placed shot behind Shushin, and the open hand goes for the ball instead of the racket. Sometimes I think to myself, if they can get the free hand out to catch the ball or to hit the ball, why not the hand holding the racket? But of course, one arm on the opposite side of the body, so it makes sense that it might be tougher to do that with the racket. I think the same thing happens to all of us when we're playing. Catch a fast shot with the offhand. Fast serve into the backhand. This time, Xu Xin's shot not as good as the last one we remember. That's two in a row for Ma Long, taking back the lead. Two serves in a row, fast into the backhand side. Again, puzzled look. Shushin not happy with the grip. Thinks his shot, think he, thinks he did what he needed to to make it. What's happening here? A little conversation. Not sure what the conversation was. Taking a point to make it a little bit closer. One point game now. Sometimes the conversation with the umpire is about stalling, time wasting. That's what the yellow card was for earlier with Julian Fung. Short side of the table, Xu Xin going for broke, committing fully. Ties it up at six points each. Second tile break of the game. Look at this shot. Malone over the table. Low spinny backhand, but it comes back just as strong, if not stronger, from Shushin on the forehand attack. Shot a little bit rushed from Shushin. Sort of an awkward, I don't know, sort of an awkward flappy shot with that left elbow. Not your typical move the feet, take a good swing at the ball shot. Again, Malong placing it right on the elbow. Shushin working the corners as hard as possible, recovering from a ball hit way out to the forehand side. And then the backhand, look at that kicking away. Malong still able to run it down and hit aggressively. High backhands from off the table, as difficult as can be. Malong still going for it. Shushin with some very effective side spin and top spin from under the table. Got something really cute waiting in the wings for you. 
We'll see it in just a few moments, but in the meantime, it's tied up at seven points each in game five. Big forehand comes back to the short side, catches the edge of the table. A little fortune for Ma Long here. If that catch is solid top of the table, I have reason to believe that Xu Xin is going to get that ball. Going to be close either way. Again in the first game, big shots from Xu Xin without the response to come back to the table were troublesome. Crazy shot from Xu Xin dropping to do a chop block. Looked like a stop, drop, and roll drill. Hope we get to see the slow mo with that one. Sometimes when somebody's fooled or a ball clips the top of the net, you see similar jumping stomps. But that was almost like the do the, do the Zhang Ji Ke move from doubles at the World Championships falling to the ground. Footwork from the Cloudwalker gets a one point lead. Last time he had nine points. Ma Long had four and managed to come back and win the match, win the game rather, 12 10. Last game, the fourth game for a chance to tie it up at 2 2. Patiently waiting at the back of the table, tries to hit it out to the forehand side. The length of the serve just close enough to the table to cause some problems for Xu Xin. And now Xu Xin with two serves at the third towel break. Malone two points away from winning the championship. Xu Xin two points away from sending this to a sixth game. Flip kill off the top of the net and out. It's a championship point for Ma Long. Electronic heartbeat back into play. Crowd with cheers. Mixed, we've got fans from both players out there in the crowd. off the top of the net and it's an ugly way to win it but he does it Ma Long with the softest shot right there off the top of the net 11-9 in game 5 for a 4-1 victory over Xu Xin coming back and there were some outstanding points in this match unfortunately for the viewers it could not go 7 games and it ended the way it did but still some incredible points for both players and Ma Long breaking and setting the new record with four consecutive wins at the China Open. Holding the record tied in three in a row with Wang Lijin, who still has the record for most China Open wins. Wang Lijin has won it six times, Ma Long six times, and Ma Long still has several years to win it ahead. We believe we're going to see several more years of Ma Long playing. Could be four or five, who knows? Not too many players play into their 30s on the Chinese national team. Wang Lichin, Ma Lin, Wang Hao. And you're looking at two potentials right here, Xu Xin and Ma Long. But that has been it for the China Open. We've got an awards ceremony coming up later. A chance for you to see the athletes smiling, collecting their prize money and flowers, and a little sharing from the people who made this tournament possible. You're watching the 2015 China Open on the ITTF World Tour, part of the GAC World Tour. I'm Adam Bob Rose. Stick around for the award ceremonies just after this. And in the meantime, enjoy some adorable pandas doing some kung fu moves. You'll get to see those shortly, but still some highlights from the match. Stay tuned.